So, I just summoned Mount Moriah. And I'm on my way. Well, I'm supposed to be on my way down, but this looks like it's going up. Uh, and nonetheless, that was the last of the 4,000 footers. And I didn't even know that. Uh, the notes under Mount Moriah say it's the last of the major peaks in the White Mountains for northbound AT hikers. So essentially, I've just completed the Whites, at least the major climbs, the 4,000 footers. And uh, really grateful. Very grateful for being able to do so and having the ability to come up here and witness such beauty and the challenges and the relationships I built along the way and getting to do with it with Thrive, who's thriving. And I like the way that I do it, like not knowing that I'm even climbing Mount Moriah until I'm up there and I take a look at the map. And I've said this before, like, I would trade everything I know for the unknown any day. You know, a lot of people say they know what they want in life. And I'm just not one of them guys that knows what he wants in life. And what I do like, which I think we all like, is to be surprised. I don't have to know the outcome before I go or what I'm gonna face or The challenges that lie ahead. I, I don't, hence the name Wing It. I don't like to be unprepared, and I'm not saying to be unprepared. Prepare with the gear, prepare with the right proper equipment. But I don't have to know how many miles I'm doing or, or the elevation, how many elevations, how much, you know. Descent. Uh, is a train a rock scramble? Is it you know grass? I, I don't need to know that stuff, and uh, and I want to be surprised. So, once again, I'll say another one of my philosophies is I would trade all my knowledge, all of it, for the unknown any day, and just wing it. And by the way, speaking of that, so last night as I was setting up Ken, this Southlander comes by and uh, we chatted for about 30 seconds, younger guy. And he was, he was walking on, I was at Zeta Pass and he was on his way to the Carter Hut, I guess. And he goes, my name's Winget. And I said, what? He said, my name's Winging. I said, man, I'm Winging. <laughs> and he's like, oh, man, I heard about you. Some other people told me about you. So we had a cool little moment and got a picture and a little video together. And uh, he said he got his name Winging by, by going in the 100-mile wilderness with only five days of food right out of the bat. So, um... And then today, as I'm hiking, I come across four or five hikers and just doing a section. And the one guy's name is Tarzan. And he's there with like three or four women. And they asked me what my name was. I said, wing it. And Tarzan said he, uh, 
He hiked in 2018, through hiked in 2018 with a guy named Wingett. So, I thought, I guess this guy is a Marine too. So, here I was thinking I was the only one and unique, man. Terminally unique. And I'm not the only one. And uh, But it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I feel sorry for the, them guys. You're going to get mistaken for me. All right, let me get down this last bit of the White Mountains down Mount Moriah and enjoy it. And uh, I think I still got six miles to the Quantum Vortex, which is just kissing on the door of 1,900 miles. So, blessed. I would trade all my knowledge, every single bit of it for the unknown. That's awesome. That you just made our day. Yeah. So be safe. Don't don't when let you, us. When you said Dave's winging, I was like, how do you know who I am? <laughs> Pretty cool, man. That's, That's awesome. Cool. Okay. I don't know why. I just I don't know why I just said that. Normally I don't do that. You know, yeah, you don't introduce you, bro. That's a reason for it, man. I yeah. appreciate it. I'm glad to meet you, That's man. Funny. Passing yep. on the trail, dude. Yeah. Already starting out badly. So, left camp, went to pull out my phone to record a video, but we got a late start and it's wet and I didn't have my phone, so I had to backtrack, and there it is laying in the trail. Gonna be an awesome day, <laughs> winging it. But man, how blessed am I that I come back and it's right there in the trail. All right. So good morning. It's Sunday. Uh, I don't even know the date. I know it's the month though, September. Getting a late start. It's about 9 a.m. I already walked about a quarter mile and Went to pull my phone out to make this exact video, say good morning. And I realized I left my phone back at camp. So I got a half mile in and haven't even moved an inch yet. But it rained all night. Um, a lot of things got wet. Just out of, all I did was hung a tarp. And uh, a tarp and, a, and my Nemo air pad and uh, it rained a lot. So I have a clothes bag that I kind of use for a pillow and, you know, sloshing around. I slung some things out and they got it underneath the edge of the tarp and got wet, some socks and my uh, my beanie uh, so so it's cold it's wet and uh, it was a slow start this morning and then I left my phone so yeah some days be like that man but the original goal was to Try to hike from Zeta Pass to the Quantum Vortex, which is like 12 and a half miles. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's very doable, but you see how we feel. I feel 
Um, no hurry anywhere. Got enough food for tonight and tomorrow. And, uh, but you can hike right into the Quantum Vortex. It's right on trail. So it'll either be tonight or it'll be tomorrow morning. And, uh, getting close to Maine, man. Getting close to Maine. So trying to just enjoy it all. I'm gonna enjoy this, show you what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at for the second time today. Or actually the third time, because I hiked here, had to hike back, and now hike it again. Really sad, my apple knockers beanie is soaking wet. Cause I enjoy wearing that for some reason. This long hair business isn't quite as cracked up as people think it is. I still don't know what to do with it. I don't know how you women do it. So much work putting it in a ponytail. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know why I have long hair. Because all I do is put on a hat. Or a beanie. Kind of pointless, actually. All that work of washing it. Get in your eyes, laying on your neck in the heat. Rough. All right, I'm gonna hike. Almost to the top of South Carter Mountain. That's a view behind me. Good morning. All right, so it's still pretty chilly out here, but I had to strip the fleece. We're gonna have a sweat. Uh, I summited South Mount, uh, South Carter Mountain, and there's no real like open views, but you can see it through the tree line the whole way. And uh, I'm heading down a little bit. And then I think I have, uh, I swear there's people that are way more organized than me. And then I have Middle Carter Mountain. And then guess what? North Carter Mountain. So over the next 2.1 miles, I'll cross both of those. Middle and then north. And then I head down to, I guess it's Imp, Imp, I-M-P campground, where I can get some water. I got some water this morning, but it was scoopable from the rain last night. So. Taking my time, enjoying whatever time I have left out here. You never know when it ends.
the summit of North Carter Mountain. And here comes Thrive. Woo! Can we get a picture? Yeah. Oh, way up there. The summit of Mount Moriah. It's up that way. Right now, I'm just soaking it in, man. Nothing feels better than this.
Now I am just about at the summit of Mount Moriah. You're gonna make me go through that. Woohoo! Getting good at this. Still got like three, three and a half miles to go. I'm hungry. Got 2.3 miles left. It's 4.33. So, this terrain is pretty crazy. For a change. It's a nice, easy Take a break on your body. Have to finish in the peaks of the whites, man. That was gorgeous right along this. Gorge. And I'm just <laughs> reveling in it. It's getting dark even though it's only 4.30. Overwhelmed with gratitude for just everything. So many thoughts going through my head. trail takes you right into the quantum vortex if you remember the video two days ago I was sitting in this gorge talking about my random thoughts about how it's never been about finishing for me and now I'm just out here relishing the beauty and and uh There's no pride, there's no fear, there's no sense of accomplishment, there's no shame or guilt. It's just love, man, and gratitude. Just trying to soak it all in. Tomorrow's another day, man. Just get through the day. And, and tomorrow's another day. And, I think I got 16 miles from when I'm done today until I'm in Maine. And uh, see, for me, the journey never ends, man. It just shifts to a different experience. It's all a new experience.
There's no sadness. <laughs> Winging it all the way, man. No sadness. There's no happiness. All those are emotions, man. It's just contentment, joy. Those are state of beings. And I will choose contentment and joy any day. Just a guy walking in the woods, man. <laughs>